Morning. Hi there, Sheriff Mongo. All the way from the front room. <laughs> he has he had a long commute to come to the chat today. Uh, let me know what you think. I um, I made this chat box a little bit bigger, like you were saying, uh, Mongo. Let me know if it's if you like it better. I can make it a little bit bigger too if I need to. Still, <clears throat> I need to resize this though. This bad boy's getting out of hand. The biggest of Duolingos. I should actually. Maybe I can make this bigger too. There. That should be quite a bit easier for people to see, I think. So, uh, typically on this, um, I've been using the keyboard now that I got the, the delay is gone. Um, but since I've been using the keyboard, people who aren't uh, or don't typically follow all of the Esperanto streams that I do are... Um, they're, since they don't see the word bank, they get a little bit lost. So I got some feedback that was like, uh, either alternate between using the word bank and the keyboard or use just the, the word bank for a little bit, especially as we're learning new things because they don't have, or they, um, viewers don't have the option of, you know, controlling my mouse and highlighting words. So this at least gives them a selection pool, which is kind of cool. Looks good though, huh? Okay, good. Make everything bigger. That way people on mobile can actually read it. <laughs> All right. Let's exit out of this lesson. I was just going back around through intros a little bit, trying to test my um, my stuff because uh, my Duolingo sound stopped working a little bit earlier. Um, all right, so last time we talked about how we were starting to get through this checkpoint, checkpoint two, um, and... Uh, I think we're gonna we're gonna skip everything that's in this first checkpoint today and just not not even bother going back. <clears throat> well, we'll go back eventually, but today I feel like I feel like it's been hard to in the beginning you learn like so much progress right away and so you're like you know, just your vocabulary is expanding and then you get to this point and everything kind of slows down because I'm like having to do the same stuff over and over again or um I'm having to keep track of um just different, different rules. Um, ah, it's tough. I don't want to keep going over the same stuff, but that's language, right? You have to keep going over the same stuff if you're gonna, if you're gonna make it stick. Um, that being the case, so we'll just, uh, since we've already got languages at number two here, I think we'll just start straight at colors today. And uh, I'm also gonna shamelessly eat this donut <laughs> before we start. Or while we're while we're going, this is a late start today. Um, the kid didn't wake up, and I didn't want to wake up. It was bad. It was a long night. He woke up a lot of times, and I didn't get a lot of sleep. So this should be. <laughs> we'll see if my brain is on maximum or minimum power. You can almost read that, huh? Okay. If I just make it a little bit smaller. Okay. So here are the tips and notes for colors. Um, I'm excited to start using this Ankal. Anku? Ankal? And then uh, this has, none of this has anything to do with colors. The tips and notes for colors has not one thing about colors on it. <laughs> There's no um, chart or anything. I expected, I expected there to be. i make myself a little bit taller. Make myself a baller. <laughs> okay. Let's just start this lesson. Mi havas verdan domon. Uh, mi havas, I have. Mi havas verdan domon. Verdan domon. Uh, domon? Mi havas verdan domon. Domon. I have a greenhouse. Is that correct? I have a greenhouse. Aquo ne havas coloron. Uh, Aquo is water, right? Similar to, uh, I was going to say I need to turn my volume up and then I realized I only have one headset in. Um, Aquo is uh, similar sounding to what you get with water, like aqua. Agua. Uh, water. This should be does, 
not have or doesn't have. I've never seen them do that before. Um, doing the, the an apostrophe T instead of the word not. It's interesting. Um, I mean, it's not incorrect. They're just not, they're not really separate words. Uh, water does not have color. Or water. See, now it says I have a typo, but I used a word bank. I'm not going to bother reporting it. It'll be okay. People, people will get the gist. They'll figure it out. Is the water blue? Chuli aquo estas blua? They also have a red apple. Um, so they, Ili, and Kao also have us. Rujon. Oh, how do I how do I say that G? Like a it's pronounced like a G H, like a neighbor or like a J. So Ruha. Ah, I'm bad at that one. I'm not good with the uh the Rujon Ruja. Rujon. Good morning, Creed. Uh Bona Matanon. Uh I always just want to say Rouge on this one. Like, I want it to be like a zzzz. Uh, Ili Anko have us... Ili Ankao have us Rujan uh, Pomon. Apple. Thank you. Or Dankong. It's weird to... I feel like I'm... Uh, some days I'm better at doing... Um, well, I'm always better at, at reading and seeing the language. And... Uh, I need to force myself to use it more non-scripted. Um, yeah. <laughs> I need to get in the habit of like actually uh, using it around the house. Uh, start talking to my cats in Esperanto or something like that. <laughs> uh, La pomo estas rouge. Spontaneous production is tough because it's like you're sitting there the whole time and you're like, what is that word? What is that word? What is that word? And then you're like, but I guess in Esperanto, at least you can just mash up other words and to get the concept together instead of being like, oh, it's a seahorse. You could be like, it's a water thing, <laughs> you know, like you can, you could get it across, I guess. Evil Dia has pretty pronounced English accents. Yeah. And Evil Dia does a lot of Esperanto work. A lot. But I mean, as long as you can be understood, right? Uh, la color... Co, mm, coloro estas malbella. Ugly. Opposite of pretty. Yeah. That's the whole thing about Esperanto, right? It, was, it wasn't about formal rules or anything else. It was just about... Um, Driving communication between people who couldn't normally understand each other. Uh, Ili Vidas, si. Le flago, le flago. Needs, needs an end there. Is there a flight? I'm sorry, my neck itches. Like, I think it's this lotion I put on, and now I've, I can see my neck is all red. I can't stop scratching it. Um, is there a flag green or blue? Chu Elia flago. Is their flag? Well, Chu Ilia Flago Estas is, is their flag. Um, verda au blue or negre? Blue or gr green or blue? If it's green and blue, they may be like the Seahawks. Chuli Flago Estas Ruja au Blue is the flag red or blue. I've got my Esperanto uh, sounds back today, which is nice. We'll level uh, we'll level colors up to level two, maybe. Jess, I always want to say Jess. Yes, it's a yes. It's the one time that I should pronounce it like I do in English. <laughs> Oh, no, it, uh, I see them on both, uh, 
through Twitch chat and on uh, the screen. Okay, so J is pronounced like Y, so this should be yes. Yes, I like red flowers. It f- it feels so wrong. It's uh, it's yeah, it's yes, and yen because I want to be like Jess and Jen. <laughs> like, come on, especially because like I'm I'm working in an or I, since I'm working in another language, I want the J to be like. Almost more like Spanish, I guess, than English. La flago estas ruja, blanca, kai blua. La flago estas ruja, blanca, kai blua. The flag is red, white, and blue. That's an America flag or a French flag. A French flag, <laughs> or it could be a French flag. The flowers are red and blue. Um, La floroi estas red and blue. Red and blue. His dog is brown. That hundo. That hundo is going to hunt. Lia, his. Lia dog is brown. Lia hundo estas bruna. I feel like that's a sentence that even if you didn't know any Esperanto, you could almost figure it out. You'd be like, I don't know. The something is brown. The hound, maybe. And then you'd be like, ta-da. Now you know Esperanto. (laughs) Now you've started on your journey. Esperanto will never let you go. Uh, They like white bread and they like black bread. Uh, Ilishatas. Blanca... Mm, it's going to be, it's Blancan Penon, right? Not, it has to have an, it has to have an N on it. Uh, Kai Black Bread. Uh, where's Black? Oh. There we go. Negran Penon. He has a blue flower. They have us blue on Floron. Because this says, uh, the f- Blue flower has small. Um, yeah, that doesn't even make sense. <laughs> I do not like gray water. Ooh, minishatas. <laughs> yeah, that, that didn't make sense at all. That's how you know it's not right. Uh, minoshatas, minoshatas, uh, grizan, grizan. Mi tre shatas brunan panon. Mi tre shatas brunan panon. I like, this is a very like, so I'm, I like something very much. I like brown bread very much. Me too. I love bread. I did a culinary, I did culinary school. We had a, a short bakery rotation and uh i've long thought about going back and actually just taking the bakery course just because it was fun (laughs) i like bread i want to eat all the bread give me the carbs all right hodio estas grisa tago hodio estas grisa tago but bricks are they like um is it like a multi-grain thing or do you mean like um like uh you know a lot of this time of year, a lot of places have, like, the, the fruit cakes that are, like, dense. Oh, yeah. I like, uh, I like pumpernickel. I actually like, I like all bread. <laughs> I don't like bread with jalapenos in it, but that's because I don't like jalapenos. <laughs> uh, today is a gray day. <laughs> you know, I I grew up on on Wonder Bread, and uh, it's delicious. It's just a uh, it is not it's not healthy. But a lot of the bread we eat isn't healthy because they remove so much of the nutrition um, to make it to make flour shelf stable. That 
I mean, you're really just eating kind of nothing anyways. Well, not nothing. I mean, it's still it's still better than eating some other crap. <laughs> uh, so it is raining. Pluvas. I love that word. It's just one word. It's raining. Or it's snowing. And the day is... I don't think I know that word. Mal Malhila? Malhela? Delicious fluffy nothing. It's like a it's like the stuffed animal from D Despicable Me. Just in bread form. <laughs> uh, okay, so it's raining and the day is... So H-E-L-A uh, must mean light. And... Uh, or bright. Okay. Is that kind of one of those um, warm versus hot things? They kind of mean the same, or it's more about just getting the concept across? Chuvia infano shatas la flava in florin? Chuvi infan infano? Chuvia infano shatas la flava in florin? Chuvia infano infano shatas la flavoin? Chuvia infano shatas la flava in florin? Flavine Floroi. Jeez. Chuvi uh, Infantano. In, see, I see you want to say like Infantano, and I'm just like, I'm adding stuff. That's not even in here. It's just Infano. Chuvia Infano, right? Shatas la. Flavin Florin. Chuvia Infano, Shatas la Flavine Florin. Flavine Florin. The Flava Florin? <laughs> uh, does your child, right, via infano, like, um, this is yellow flowers, because uh, yellow always looks like flavor. How can I remember that? Yellow number five? I guess we were talking about that. <laughs> oh, sweet lord, smell the yellow flower. Fla mm. Flaru la flavoin floroin? Man. Whew. I like it. I dig it. Oh! Forgot law. I forgot my, my own rules about defensive duolingo. <laughs> Is it always necessary? Maybe. Is duolingo going to make you use it? Yes. <laughs> so, Chivi Shatas Helen Au Mal Helen Penon. I'm getting better, I think, with um, when to use the ends. I should, if I'm going to be doing language publicly like this, I, sh I should get my verbiage right. Um, I'm getting better at using the, it's not the plural, because that's the J. Is it the object modifier? Is there a word for that? Yeah, I was thinking ch chat's a little bit quiet today too, but it usually kicks up in about a little bit after... Um, 1030 direct object thank you that's what i was trying to think of accusative there you go because that's in um the first checkpoint i think near the end and it was something that gave me a lot of trouble and if you go back and you watch the previous esperanza's or jay you know because you've been here um that I, I stuck on it for a long time and I kept having to like go back and it was preventing me from making further progress for a while. But I eventually was just like, screw it. I'll figure it out as I use it. And I am getting better just by doing more advanced things in the language. Yeah. Well, the nice thing about it is that even if you flub, even if you mess up, it's not like, it's not like it's written in stone and like every time you, you know, it's like a, it's like a verbal typo. You just have to like reset, and uh, fix it. She whom, she, he him, she her, yeah. Okay. 
Yeah, it's the, uh, for me, it's, I'm still getting used to when to use it, or rather to use it for the adjectives and the direct objects that it's uh, talking about. So there are many yellow flowers in the park. So in La Parco, in the park, uh, there are estas multi flavi floroi. Ooh, I didn't think, I thought that they were gonna, I thought I was gonna have to say yellow flowers many for some reason, but I guess it, I guess it doesn't matter what order. Yeah, nouns with nouns with adjectives, and especially, I think it's not so hard when they're when they're right next to each other, right? when you're like yellow flower, but when you're like the flower is yellow and blue, and then I'm like, okay, as I'm like, I'm concentrating on trying to do the words and the verbiage, and then I forget the J's and the N's and the, those direct modifiers. So, uh, the sun is yellow. La suno. Estas. Chuni. Oh, wait, wait. Esas flava, comma. Chuni, right? The Esperanto flag is green and white. Uh, Esperanto flago. See, no ends here because this is the subject of the sentence, not the object. The Esperanto flag is green and white. You know what it is. It's because uh, San Esperulo is not here today. <laughs> and we're not on yet. <laughs> they're, they're the other ones that are usually Jen. Um, it's because I said it to just chatting today instead of Duolingo. I'm really throwing everybody off. Or it's because I have a terrible habit of calling off every other Saturday or every other Sunday. I almost did today because I only got maybe like four hours of sleep last night with that baby. Ugh. Children have green flags. Havas verdein flagein. Flagein. It's really hard to do this and then listen to, um, listen, I, <laughs> it's hard to, uh, listen, listen to these streams later because usually I'll, I'll wait a day or so and then I'll listen to it to see like how the audio sounds and stuff like that. And, uh, it's so hard to like skip through and just hear me like butcher pronunciation of things. And I'm like, oh, <laughs> or did I hear how much you stutter? Or to watch yourself. It's creepy. Yeah, four hours of sleep is not much. Uh, I've been... I don't think I've had more than six hours of sleep since he was born a year and a half ago. So, <laughs> it's been a... I'm exhausted. I thought I was tired in the military. Man, parenting is tiring. Even more so. Yeah, thanks. I wouldn't... I think... Uh, I was nervous about streaming anyways. I've done it before, mostly video games, but uh, I was nervous about doing Esperanto, but I knew from my previous community or uh, experience in Esperanto that I knew that the community would be... Um, they're always like, they always want to help beginners and they always want to drive resources and original content can be kind of hard to come by. So even though I'm only doing Duolingo, which is a course that's been around forever, it's, it's kind of nice to put more resource more esperanto resources out there for people oh man listening to myself gives giving uh academic talks is way worse um i used to uh i used to train professionally for one of the the big tech giant companies and um <laughs> i hearing myself when i was teaching was a is different at least here i'm like uh you know, it's a little bit more lax, and, and I'm kind of the student, but it's more embarrassing when you jack up and you're the teacher. <laughs> but you have to be able to laugh it off. Laugh it off. Uh, me manjas. I eat. Me manjas pomon flavan. I eat a yellow apple. So I can't just put yellow apple. Truvia infano shatas la flava in florin? The, uh, the Esperanto uh, community—they're all—they're definitely all nerds. But I think that's a—I uh, 
That's part of the game. <laughs> they have to be. And I've honestly, I've never... If I, th- if I think about it now, in the, the couple of years on and off that I've been doing Esperanto, and even in all the different groups and different websites and stuff, I have never met a mean person in Esperanto. Like, like just n- no one has ever been mean or rude about correcting somebody, or nobody has, like, tried to, like, admonish people for, or, you know... Um, try to discourage people from learning it's always just been like yes come to us come to us love us <laughs> and yeah the bulk well not just the bulk of the community being non-native speakers but i mean the only way you could really have a native esperanto speaker is if you have an es- if you have an esperanto fluent parent ooh should i be teaching esperanto to my baby hmm maybe I at least like little words here and there probably wouldn't hurt. <laughs> oh my god, what if my son was a native Esperanto speaker? <laughs> One of what, maybe a hundred in the world? <laughs> I can't imagine that there's a lot of them. Um, does your child like the yellow flowers? This is where I forgot the... You met one once? No way. So, um, did both his, uh, or her parents, uh, he, um, did both their parents speak or just one? Or, like, how do you, did they speak it to each other in front of him? Both parents? <laughs> it sounds like Radiohead would be something, Radiohead is definitely something that Esperanto people would like. <laughs> Oh, thank God. Level two on colors, finally. Now we can move on. I want to see what my how this live dashboard is doing, too. Um, I have the... Uh, let me put these tags on here. Um, I was going to add playing with viewers, because I guess I'm playing with viewers. There. I I don't think I've listened to Stella. I've I've briefly heard of her, but I've never listened to any of her stuff. Good morning, War. Nice to see you. Is it? Oh my God! I was gonna say, is it ten thirty? It's almost ten thirty on the dot. I know when you're gonna show up. <laughs> Man, she was learning Esperanto during the communist era. Ooh. I can't imagine. Do you think do you think Esperanto has gotten larger? Well, it has to have gotten larger now with with the internet and everything like that, but do you, do you think it was a dead language back then? Not a dead language, but um such an infrequently used language back then too, or do you think like there and during that time period that was a language that was maybe helpful because it was easy for people to pick up and then talk I always wonder how war affects things you know like um, how war affects you know um, vintages for wine and uh, stuff like that it's just it's fascinating Mia um, Avo yeah, that's my grandfather right Drinks. Oh, is drinking. Dark beer. Mal- Malhilan. I cannot give you money. And that is absolutely true. I cannot and I will not. Uh, I can maybe Twitch Prime Sub. <laughs> um, me... Is it Povras? No, Doni. Or Donas? Me, me, ne, I don't think I've seen this one yet. Doni Alvi, to give you. So, me, ne, Doni Povas, right? Because it's like the brackets. Oh, 
other way around. Which way around? And then that's money, right? Oh, ni povas. Okay, so it's not, no. <laughs> spoilers, yeah. <laughs> you Duolingo spoilers. <laughs> Those are about as, uh, as frequent as uh, Duolingo stream snipers. <laughs> um, so, mine povas doni. So, I, this is like a, so, ni povas is like the, the cannot itself, right? More directly. I cannot doni give or donate. I'll be Manon. Latvia. Wow, that's pretty cool. I can't imagine, like, I can't imagine going around, um, you know, you think of, like, Germany back in the World Wars, and it's like, that's so many languages. Well, I guess all of Europe, really, is just a lot of languages jammed into one area, whereas, like, America is one really big land of people who think you shouldn't speak anything else. <laughs> Just talking about this, red wine. Well, actually, we, I was talking about terroir, but... If you mention wine, wine will arrive. <laughs> uh, la Knabo. This is hard for me, too. Knabo. Because I want it to just be like ni. I want it to be like nabo. But you have to pronounce the K, right? Ooh, how would you say terroir in EO? Would you... Would that be one of those uh, words that it's like... It, you're like mash... Would you be like... Um, what's the... Shoot, what's the, what's the direct translation for terroir? Isn't it like... It's like earth quality or no, not terrier. Um, environment. I, I feel like there's, there's an actual, um, okay, here you go. Winemaking worm. <laughs> Winemaking term terroir, derived from the Latin word terra, meaning earth. Yeah, got that. Oh, I guess maybe there isn't a direct translation. I thought it was something like earth quality or... Um, but I guess it's more of a concept word, yeah? Why, why, I like wine placeness. Though uh, wine placeness makes me think of like, maybe more like Napa Valley. Oh, I hate this chair. Terroir is, um, it's, a uh, kind of all encompasses, um, soil quality, water quality, um, climate, environmental changes, um, stuff like that. But it's essentially like all up what is feeding into the wine grapes and, um, what's create like what changes the quality of it. Um, so you'll see, like, you know, in places where there have been a lot of really bloody wars and wine fields have been placed at this, if this is all, if I recall correctly, because it's been a, a couple of years since I was, I was studying it, but in areas where there have been particularly bloody battlefields, um, so much blood has soaked in that like you might have a higher mineral or iron content in the wine, which will give it, um, that minerality and that, that iron taste, which is, uh, but if you have the exact same grapes and they're grown somewhere else, they won't have that type. And so it could be, it could be anything from what polluted the groundwater to what's grown there in the past to, uh, what they've, you know, dug up underneath. It's just, uh, yeah, it's, it, it can be pretty morbid. <laughs> little shuffle board. Yeah. I'm, <laughs> I'm, um, the more I'm talking about this, I'm like watching the, oops, sorry. I'm watching the viewer count drop. They're like, oh, they're talking about, <laughs> they're talking about gra <laughs> Yeah. Grapes feasting on the blood of the living. This got into a very, uh, this became a very, uh, October stream, <laughs> a very Halloween stream instead of a, uh, Christmas Hanukkah stream. <laughs> Uh, 
ARBO is, uh, or ARO for groups. Interesting. They, uh, when we were talking about groups of people last time we were talking about the, ca the containers, um, that they, uh, when you're talking about countries that people or people who come from certain countries, it's like the contain the country is like a container. So yeah. So would that could you use that to indicate a group of people as well? Or is that specifically only going to be used for old world countries? I've been on this one a lot. Uh <laughs> La La Knabo. Uh oh wait. The mother of the boy likes tea because I could not have said la knabo there is no like there's no apostrophe s right there's uh well there is possessive but it's it's all like this the mother of the child instead of or the mother of the boy instead of the boy's mother Yeah, France is the bucket which all people are in. I was wondering if maybe you can, like, if it's the same as when you're just categorizing people, like, this is a bucket of people who have brown hair, and this is a bucket of people who have blue hair. To be a lot more people with brown hair than blue hair. <laughs> I meant to say brown hair and blue eyes, but whatever. <laughs> um, he gives us milk. He donas, because it has to have a, it needs to have an AS here. Um, ni lacton. Oh! Li donas al ni. So he gives to us, right? Is that more what the al means? He bequeaths it unto us. U.S. is the melting pot for sure. Well, one of the many. Thankfully, the... I feel like... This is, this is gonna get me in. This is gonna get me in trouble for some, for saying it the wrong way for somebody. But uh, I feel like the more worldly we get, the more the borders are just kind of dumb. Everything's a melting pot because you're talking to everybody online, anyways. Especially with automatic translators. Oh, English is the odd one for letting you leave off too. Like, he gave me something instead of he gave to me. Interesting. Because I think one of the tips and notes talked about that in one of the earlier sections, but it didn't make any sense because I wasn't learning anything about that in the section. Like, you know, like earlier, the, the colors, tips and notes don't have one thing about colors. They just talk about, like, Esperanto versus Esperanto, or using Esperanto as an adjective. You can say Lee Donas Nin. Oh, maybe it's because it was, maybe it was because it was an I and not an I N. Well, would the accusative make a difference on that? Do you want to drink coffee? Chuvi volas, trinky, trinky, kafan kunmi. Oh, you're asking. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. Li, li donas nin would mean he gives us to... Oh, so if you're just generically giving something, then there is no, like, who it's... It's just being put out into the... It's, it's being given away. Not necessarily it's given to... It's not being received by me. It's just being given. Fascinating. Ah, I love language. It's just so much fun. The person receiving is marked with. Okay. So just give all your presents to Al. <laughs> Al gets everything. <laughs> uh, she does not want to buy wine, and she's wrong. She ni povas acheti. Vinon? No. 
Oh, I didn't need Povos there because it was not. It's not that she cannot. It's that she does not want to. <laughs> Merry Christmas to all. <laughs> Merry Christmas to Al and to Al a good night. <laughs> Oblique case. Interesting. I'm going to write that down because I want to look up. I really like looking up all of these weird things I never learned in school. Sometimes it's fun to be an adult. Just learn whatever you want anytime. I guess I could have done that as a kid too. Yeah. I love linguistics jargon, too. A group of genitive, accusative, and dative endings that EO has. Huh. I have no idea what that means. Me help. So if you say me help us Vin, or you can say me help us Alvi. Interesting. So, oh, ditransitive verb. Oh, okay. So, really, if you're putting if you're putting the end at, the end at the end the accusative, you are giving it a. I mean, essentially, you are giving the object direction, right? Like, that's, you're saying, instead of Alvi, you're saying Vin, like, the, to to this person, right? Because you're, once you add the end, they're being acted upon, right? They're the object being acted upon. Do you want to drink red wine with me? Ooh, I should ask Sheriff Mongo this all the time. Chuvivolas? No. Yes. Chuvivolas, trinky, rush. I hate the word trinky. Why does that sound weird to me? Am I saying that wrong? Trinky? Trunky? It just sounds like a fake word. Chuvivolas, trinky, rujan, vinon, kunmi. Do you want to drink red wine with me? So. You think that the Alvi actually sounds unusual, even though it's uh, the defensive Duolingo option? Okay, so so <laughs> Trinky is correct. It's just ridiculous. I mean, I feel like a, I feel like a kid. I'm like, ooh, Trinky, Trinky, like it's something somebody would say to a kid, like a kid, like, do you want your baba? Do you want a Trinky or the baba? <laughs> Me scribas vin letteron, yeah. I, I like I write you a letter. Is that that's what that is that is that correct or am I just as, assuming? What does dative mean? I've never seen that word before. Dative, dative. Ili ni povas acheti panon, chai ili nahavas monon. De ili ne povas, they cannot acheti panon. They cannot buy bread. They cannot buy bread because, char, because they have no money. Oh, because they don't have money. That's sad. I would buy them bread. Oh, I forgot the they when I was clicking them. See, on the word, on the keyboard, I'm going to make typos. On the word bank, I just like absolutely leave words out. Chuvi trinkas tion. Um, are you drinking tea, Tion? I cannot give you money. So this is the nipova, uh, nipovastoni. Uh, me, I cannot give to you. I think this is better. Mini povas doni manon alvi? Or would it be mini povas doni alvi manon? No, I guess it's okay. I'm gonna see what the discussion says though. I wonder if. (laughs) 
So this is also correct. Oh, there's your, uh, your salve. Is it a leaf? What is PMEG? He gives us milk. Uh, Li donas lacton alni to us. Actually, you know what? Next time I'll just use the keyword and I'll try to use the N and I'll see what um, what it says. Oh, the the uh, the grammar book. Do you have a do you have a physical copy or do you use an online copy? She does not buy. She ne a chet. No, she does not want. Uh, what is want? Is it volas? She ne volas. She does not want to buy wine. Oh, I was really nervous about that one. I, th I thought for sure I was going to be wrong. You just read online. I know that there's a, a printed copy you can get. Um, or I guess you could just print it yourself if you really wanted to, but it would take a long time. There's a... Um, near me, there's a... Uh, this book... Oh, I can't remember. I wrote a whole report on what it... On this, this machine, and now I can't remember what it's called. But it's um, a printing press machine it's almost like the size of like a giant copier and it can print out any book in the world and then it fully like binds it and everything and it has the real like cover that the book would have and it's it's not just like a, a janky print like it prints the physical book and uh so they have a thing where you can go and like request books and you print them out and it just costs as much money as it would to buy the book anyways which is pretty cool so i've i've thought about seeing if i could take it the um the reference thing down there and seeing if they could actually like print it out or not Nouns and adjectives have two cases, nominative, uh, nominative, oblique, and accusative. Hmm. This might be a good, um, I should uh, post this in the Duolingo Esperanto Learners Facebook group and uh, see what they say about it. Because there isn't, it does, well, maybe I'll see if there's a discussion on here too the next time it comes up. Uh, because... They don't have... What? Oh, this time I forgot. Great. They cannot buy bread because they <laughs> don't have money. There we go. Oblique is... Okay, so oblique is genitive, dative, accusative. See, now you know way more words. None of those words mean anything to me. What is, what is elative and ablative? Longer I hang out with you guys, just the dumber I feel sometimes. <laughs> I'm, I'm doing a stream centered around learning and I'm still like, am I getting dumber? <laughs> Are you guys getting smarter and I'm getting dumber the longer this goes on? <laughs> um, can he cook well? Uh, truly. Oh, uh, Kuiri is cook, right? So can he cook well? <laughs> it's it is it's a little easier to write things and it's uh I find that when I when I'm watching people who talk in Esperanto I definitely cheat and use the like Google Translator and stuff to make sure that what I'm typing is correct before I send it. Uh but it's a little harder to do when you're talking. Uh I do not eat meat. Me nemanjas viandon. Sofia Provas curiri tomatan supan 
kun viando. Sophia wants to cook tomato soup with meat. Tries? Oh. Tries to cook tomato soup with meat. Esperanto speakers buy meals. Esperantistoy. Esperantistoy achetas. Hmm. Mandroin? Because this is multiple meals and it's the direct object, right? Yeah. Do you like to eat cakes? Uh, chuvi shatas. Manjon. Kukoin. No? Manji kukoin. Because you can't have O N and then have it be O J N. So this would have to be. The tomato is red and delicious. La tomato estas ruja kai bangusta. An accusative after a preposition. Do you um in the other in the other languages you speak, is ending a sentence with a preposition a big deal, or is that is that just a an a thing American speakers whine about? Mi uh, shatas tomatoin, right? Almost did this one tomaton, but it should be tomatoin because it's multiple tomatoes and a direct object. <laughs> I, there's a <laughs> I, yeah I probably would be <laughs> hmm. I guess it's just not something that uh that's what that's what's fun about Esperanto is like these are all things that I would never have to think about in English, but I've never thought about other whether or not other languages have them. Right? Isn't that the point in learning languages? The more exposure you have, the more diverse you can be. Uh, I'm gonna eat this donut. <laughs> Speaking of, kiukuiras la manjon. La man la manjo estas viando kun tomatoi. La manjo estas viando kun tomatoi. La manjo estas viando kun tomatoi. Whoa. Estas. Whoa, I can't hear this at all. La manjo estas viando kun tomatoi. So that's the meal is, right? La manjo estas viando kun tomatoi. Viando kun tomatoi. The meal is meat and tomatoes? I feel like that's going to be wrong. The meal is meat with tomatoes. Mi manjas pomon flavan. Mi manjas pomon flavan. I eat yellow apples, or I eat a yellow apple. Is that something where I would have just said like I eat I eat yellow apple, but I've got to put a on it. Actually, we go back to this. And I want to look at this um, the tips and tricks thing. Okay, it didn't change when the lesson changed. But see, like, this is the food tips and tricks, and it's like, okay, here's one thing about food. <laughs> the rest have nothing to do with food. Yeah. 
You don't understand which language? English? <laughs> if it's English, then I don't understand it either. <laughs> and I am a native speaker. Mi, mi page, oh, these are a lot of words. I don't know. I'm going to try them out. Mi pages, mi pages, la prison de la mancho. I pay the price of the food. Okay, this is I pay for the food by dollars. Mi manjas dolorin. Dolorin. Por la mango. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, I pay dollars for the food. Huh. But, see, none of it was all. So... You never, so, but you didn't have to say, like, I paid for, no, I guess you would use Al if you were saying, like, I gave you money for the food, right? I can go. Mi povas iri? Or mi povas iras? I think iri. Yeah. Okay. I can make coffee. Um, cafon mi povas fructoi? No. Uh, legomon kafon mi povas? No. I can't make coffee. Here we go. Mi faras supon el tomatoi. But no, but the. Okay, so mi. Mi achetes ion? Contra kvin dollar. Okay, so dollar. Um, so I buy. I don't know what, con what, what did you say Contra was in discussing prices? Yeah, no, that's okay. Get, get as deep as you want. I don't, that's okay. <laughs> I'm going to have to come across it eventually anyways. I might as well have some context. Mi <laughs> faras. Uh, uh, I make soup. El tomato. Is that with or from? It's from tomatoes, right? Oops. Or with. I guess. Ah! Tomato, tomatoes. <laughs> nice, Creed. Did you, did you have to, like, snort and push up your glasses with that one? <laughs> uh... La, la pizza, la pizza, estas not bad. That be name a bona? That seems wrong. Oh, ni estas. The pizza is not bad. Okay. <laughs> In the cliven. <laughs> I immediately thought of that guy too. <laughs> um, I am going out of the house. Me iras. I'm going uh, out of the house. Do I know Al? Out. I'm going out. Out Ladomo. La pico ne estas malbona is the defense of Duolingo, but le pico estas ne malbona doesn't sound wrong. So does, um, so ni, est, ni estas and estas ni, are they, could you interchangeably swap them back and forth? Because I mean, one, if they're going to be used together, I mean, ish, um, Because that'd be, is not versus, like, not is, you know? I don't feel like that should be a big deal. I'm going to use it however I want. <laughs> uh, Adamo from Battlestar Galactica. Uh, Shatas to Manchi Viandon. He likes to eat meat. 
with Kuhn. Green, Verdi, Le Gamoy. So this is interesting because I assumed that there would be ends on the bottom on the ends of these ones as well, but I guess meat is actually the direct object that he's acting because he likes to eat the meat. But even though they're served alongside the green vegetables, like it's one, I would think it would be one dish, so they would all have the accusative. But Let's see if they discuss anything. No, because Kuhn is an, is a preposition, and, oh, what does this say? Niam bezonas actus of, oh, fuck her. I'm totally going to look up an, an Esperanto translator on this one. Oh, is that what that means? Never needs accusative? Look at you doing it faster than I could type it into Google. <laughs> okay, so... There would not be ends at the end of this because... Kuhn is a preposition and prepositions do not need adjectives. Translating race? <laughs> <laughs> See, that's how you get those Duolingo stream snipers. You're all, everybody races to try and get the right answer. <laughs> Hilarious. <laughs> I am helpful. I will be the most helpful. Speaking of, speaking of helpful, actually... I think I can give y'all something. Um, here's J. Creed. We'll just, uh, since I got these two, uh, or I got the VIP roles for having um, people chatting at the same time, I figure maybe you two who chat the most should uh, should get the VIP tags. Um, I'll have to give one to San Esperulo next time I see him as well. Thank you guys for coming to most of these streams and for helping me with my my learning and for for keeping me company. <laughs> See, now you have now you have a badge that says you're aggressively helpful or else. <laughs> Is a tomato a fruit or a vegetable? Uh chu tomato? No, chu tomato. Uh estas fructo? Oh, legomo. Because that would be Tagos Day, right? And that says something about an orange, so no. Chuvi volas mangi pizza in la restauracio? Chuvi volas mangi pizza in la restauracio? Chuvi volas mangi pizza in la restauracio? Restauracio. Do you want to eat pizza in? The restaurant. La. I was thinking, uh, next time I see that where I was going to try it too, I just haven't seen a... I haven't, I haven't seen one yet. I, I'll tell you how Duolingo will judge it. Harshly and incorrectly. <laughs> and with much judgment. An owl will fly through the door and just punch this monitor right over. <laughs> um, can we... go... Ah, see, here's an Almia. Let's see if I can do it. Um... Oh, 
Oh, that's my home. I guess it didn't work because I did. It's not. It, it wasn't me translating it into Esperanto. It was me translating Esperanto into English. <laughs> um. Man, I spent a lot of time on food today. Man, so much easier now that y'all's links work. Let's uh, move this over a little bit so you can see it. There we go. Okay, so I can't read any of this, yeah. Very interesting. <laughs> um, but for, for anybody who's watching who wants to know what this looks like, you can go here um, and get <laughs> literally everything you ever wanted to know about Esperanto. <laughs> Yeah, I don't see a link to buy it or anything, though. I'm going to turn this up a little bit, too, because I can't hear it. I listen to this background noise. I don't know if you guys can hear it or not, but otherwise it's just too quiet in here. Um, she likes soup more than pizza. She chatas soupon, pliol, pizzon. Ah, I love pliol. It's grown on me. It really is. Action-ish nouns. That's a that's a thing. It can be an action-ish. Do you have a sandwich? Do we have a sandwich on? Li provas tranchi, tranchi. That sounds that sounds like trinky. Like it seems like a word that shouldn't be right. Li uh, provas tranchi la vianda. Uh, he tries to cut the meat because we have law there, so I can't forget the. I am trying to sell fruits and vegetables. Uh, me provas a ch shouldn't it be a chetti? Oh, vendi. Uh, me provas vendi. I am trying to sell fruits, fructoin, kai legomoin. Uh, he makes sandwiches, cuts them, and sells them. Uh, he makes lifaras, yes, lifaras sandwicho, sandwichoin, sandwichoin, because we have OJN. So he makes sandwiches, cuts them, tranchas, ilin, kai vendas ilin. Do you want to eat vegetarian pizza? Uh, chu vi volas? Chu vi volas? Do you want to eat manji? Vegetarian pizza. Is that a vegetarian restaurant? So we got a question. So, uh, chu estas? Or is it chu tio estas? Chu tio estas is that, right? Or chu estas tio? I guess it's maybe the same. Uh, Chuesas Tio Vegetaran Restauratio? Vegetara. Oh, yeah, because there was no in there. That was on me. I did that. <laughs> That's my fault. That was on me. Um, en la sandwicho estas viando. Um, in the sandwich, in San Vicho, there is meat. See, now I'm starting to think uh, in Esperanto, because normally I would just be like, in the sandwich is meat. But now I know that they were going to tell me to do it otherwise. Do you have a sandwich? 
two we have us sandwichon. Do you have a sandwich? Ĉu tio estas vegetara restoracio? Ĉu tio estas vegetar vegetara? Ĉu tio estas vegetara restoracio? Vegetara, veg, not veg. Vegetara restoracio. Is that a vegetarian restaurant? Okay, two more lessons for food. And then what comes next? Countries? This, this one's taking a long time. Um, the child is eating a lot of strawberries. La infano, not infantino, because I keep wanting to say that and that's wrong. La infano uh, manjas, he eats many strawberries. Chuvi volas manji deserton? Um, do you want to eat dessert? What is it going to say? A dessert? Yeah. So dessert or a dessert here would be fine. Mi shatas aceti desertoin pli olfari ilin. Mi shatas aceti desertoin pli olfari ilin. So I like to buy dessert more than making them. I like to buy desserts more than making them. Oh my god, did I know that right off the bat? Okay. I like to buy desserts more than make them. Yes! I always love when there's a long sentence. I'm like, yeah, I did it. <laughs> Thanks. Yay! Confetti. <laughs> uh... <laughs> Nishatas, we like cheese. Fromagoi? Wait. So, we just went over this. Um, kun is going to be a preposition, right? So we're going to need the accusative N. Fromago? Fromagoi? Fromago? Fromago? Kun. Wine. But no N on the wine. I always mess up that G. I even have it on here. It literally, it literally says G as in Google. <laughs> or G as in, G as in giraffe and G as in Google down here on my notes. Fromageau. Oh, so I need to think of it more of like, um, omelette du fromage. Like a, like a cheese omelette. Ew, there's carrot in the sandwich. Ah, that doesn't sound so bad. I could do it. Part of the Mirepoix. Closer to English, Joe. Fromageau. Jungle. Je. Because Joe, Joe and jungle, so it'd be fromageau. Oh, okay. Or that sounds like an S. That makes sense. Yeah, so G by itself is like a pure G sound, right? It's like a G. But if you have the G with the hat on it, it's more like, it's kind of like adding an H at the end. You have more of a, like, neighbor or way. It's a, uh, um, instead of G, it's J, right? Your capital letters aren't working? Do you think that's uh, only when you have the little diphthongs? Or it's, that's not a diphthong. Um, that's bizarre. Sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. Um, for the same letters, I wonder if it sees that as an excessive symbol, like it sees you as like spamming like wingdings kind of, and so it tries to, um, so it doesn't work. Cool. 
because I have options for that. <laughs> yeah, let me let me just take that little diamond right away from you. <laughs> um, I have a carrot in the sandwich. Me have as. Caraton in La San Vicho. So they were saying uh, because kun is a direct propos preposition that you don't use accusative for anything after it. Is that the same here? Like this is this is your subject acting upon direct object. This begins your prepos this is your preposition. And because these are all part of the preposition, they do not need the accusative, right? That's what um, Salavanto was saying. Vinon Never needs accusative. Okay, so every so it's going to be after every preposition, right? So that's in, over, under, because, through. So. Would we be more apt to say you don't use the accusative after the preposition when the preposition is ending the sentence or when the preposition is part of, you're almost using it like as an adjective for the direct object. So like, you know, if I say um, the sandwich has meat and meat on top of vegetables, I'm going to say it has meat with an N and then I'm going to say on top of, and then since that's a preposition, no accusative after that, right? Mi mangias orangeon, kai vi trinkas vinon. Mi mangias orangeon, kai vi trinkas vinon. Kai vi trinkas vinon. Uh, we eat oranges and drink wine? Who? Oh. Oh, I eat an orange and you drink wine. That makes it a little bit better. Maybe it was a child. With an advanced footnote for accusative meaning direction towards stuff. Okay, that makes sense. So it's not when something's on something, but I would maybe use it if I'm like under the branch. Yeah. I like to uh, I like to see where it's good because sometimes we talk about these concepts and then next time I'm doing, you know, the next stream or the next whatever, I'll come across that concept and I'm like, wait, we were talking about this and then it gives you a found like a found it gives me a foundation for like a uh, context for thinking about it. So even if it's something that I'm not going to get to for a little bit, it at least helps. Um, strawberry is a fruit. Frago estas fructo. No. Yes. I eat breakfast with them. Mi matan manjas. Right? Because that's... I breakfast with them. Or I, brec I, I breakfast meal with them, I guess. Bre breakfast food. Yeah. <laughs> He's making sure I know that he's, uh, that Creed's, uh, <laughs> he's backing you up, <laughs> not disagreeing. Because <laughs> then otherwise I'm going to be like, wait. <laughs> She's tra he's trying to clear my headspace. <laughs> uh, in the dessert, there are only fruit and wine. Hell yeah. Sangria. En la deserto. Uh, estas ner fructo kai vino? <laughs> Fructoi, legomoi, kai fromaggio. Fructoi, legomoi, kai fromaggio. Fructoi, legomoi, kai fromaggio. Fromaggio, fromaggio. Um, fruit, vegetables, and cheese.
<laughs> I de- I've I know what that's like too. I've done a lot of uh, a lot of group projects where you're you're collaborating, but it's all done via via chat. And uh, Sheriff Mongo does the same thing too because he works primarily via emails and uh, and chats and stuff like that. And he like he's like will give you all of the information and then like repeat all of the information and like he's he's very cons- he's very like this is everything you need and then people will be like yeah i don't understand and he just ends up having to repeat himself <laughs> it's like just read your emails pay attention <laughs> uh, thank you for the delicious dinner denkon uh pro la bangusta vesper manjo Bangusta Vesper Manjo. I love when people send me everything they know too. Because it's like, if they're going to send me a little bit and then I have a question and then they have to send me something back and then it's like, back, it's like, no, just give me everything and then like write everything out and then send it to all the people that need to know about it. And then if any of those people have questions, you're like, per my last email. <laughs> Oh, that was really easy. Chuili tagmanjas? Tagmanjas? Tagmanjas. Are they eating dinner together? Chu. Ili vesper manjas. Are they eating dinner together? Kun? Here is lunch. Yen. Yen is the, the voila, right? Yen, tagmanjas, tagmanjas. Or yen la tag, tagmanjas. And that, that would be the lunch, though. They didn't ask me for the lunch. Uh, he eats limanjas, carrots, karatoin, as breakfast. Is that s- kiel? Kiel maten manjan? Tag manjan, kun vesper manjan. Oh, I forgot Kai. My bad. Yeah. <laughs> uh, good appetite. Bonan appetiton. Sen appetito, she never las idi alla restaurazio. Sen appetito, she never las idi alla restaurazio. Sen appetito, she ne volas iri a la restauratio. Uh, without an appetite, she does not want to go to the restaurant. Go to the restaurant. Li kai shi maten manjas kai tag manjas. I hate it too, or when, um, or I typo, like I'll be, I'll be th- thinking in Esperanto and English at the same time. So I'll write like a instead of law, or I'll put an S at the end of something instead of the J. And then I'm like, oh, come on. You know what I was trying to get at Duolingo. Like, you know what I'm trying to do. <laughs> yeah. One character. So it's not too bad, but if it's like more than one character or if it's in more than one word, it's like, nah, you get nothing. It doesn't happen to work because he's perfect and he only gets he only gets Duolingo right. He's never failed one before. <laughs> he doesn't know he don't he doesn't know what the bad noise sounds like. <laughs> you forget J or N, so you omit it, and I accidentally put the English equivalent at the end. Well. Oh, that cut out weird at the end. Um, he and she eat breakfast and lunch. But it doesn't say together. Which I was, uh, it didn't say kun, but I thought it did. The J is natural to you. I feel like I'm starting to get to use the J a little bit better because I just, I use it kind of like I'm, I'm getting in the habit of using it more like an S. Um, but the accusatives are still. 
Those are still some work. Li havas bonan apetiton. He has a good appetite. Ni manjas fragoin kai trinkas teon kune. Ni manjas fragoin kai trinkas teon kun. Kune? Ni manjas fragoin kai trinkas teon kune. Kune. I always forget the E. That's, um. I always forget the E at, like, like, bone. Uh, I just want to be like bone. Uh, we eat. Strawberries and drink tea together. Teon. Oh. Ni manjas fragoin, kai trinkas teon kune. Teon. So it's not like T-E-E, -E, it's like T-E. T. -E. T -E. Oh, teon is teon. Yeah, I've seen that one. Okay. Man, one letter difference, huh? So T-E is more like T-A. I don't think I have. T-E is pronounced as T-A. Whereas T-I is pronounced as T-E. The post-its grow again. <laughs> At this point, I'm just going to start writing them on the wall behind me. <laughs> the correlatives, yeah. Like, um... Yeah. Uh, he, oh, this is where I messed up. Okay, he eats carrots as keel. I like keel. As uh, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I forgot the and. Tion is just like that one. Yay! Finally level two in food. Alright, good. Let's do some countries. Oh, threw me right into it. Actually, let me look at the... Let me look at the lesson again to see what they say. Okay, this is the one that we were talking about, the group one and group two. Um, the containers of people versus the, the newer version. Um, Usono for America, or for the USA. Americo is um, North, South, and Central America. So we have Nord America, Nord Americo. We have uh, Sudamerica, Sudamerica, is that correct? Sud for South. Um, and then we have these, uh, we went through these two, the H's. Remember the <laughs> Oh, good, I'm, I'm glad. Saluton! Bone, Kaivi. Oh, look, I remember the E this time. <laughs> so the stress is on this. I always think it's the second syllable, not the second to last syllable. So it's not America. It's Americo. Do you think that's because um, the last syllable is typically so many of the like accusatives and modifiers that they want you to really enunciate the syllable before to like clarify that word so that you hear the difference between like fructoin versus fructo because eventually the the jns should just fade off right it should be like hearing hearing an s or hearing anything else it's just you know what it is without having it to um Without having to directly translate it, right, right? No, come on, Sun S. You, you know I have... Dude, you know I don't know all those words. <laughs> uh, 
does it say that you're getting ready for a fest? Maybe a feast? Uh, France is a country in Europe. France está hablando en Europa. Europa. Italians eat good pizzas. Uh, Italoi? Manjas. Bonai? Pizzoi. I hear the baby crying. <laughs> Francoi multe shatas kafon. Probably got a phone taken away from him. <laughs> Francoi multe shatas kafon. Um, so French speaker or French people like coffee a lot. I like European countries. Um, uh, Michatas Euro, Europoin, Landoin, Euro, Europoin, right? <laughs> Zamenhof was like, you know what? I like my native language. It makes sense to me. I know I'm creating a universal language, but we're gonna base it off what I what I already speak. Hmm. Trey Belai Landoy. Very beautiful countries. Oh, that's a good way to look at it. It signifies that the word is ending. Like, kafo versus kafejo. Because you're... If so many of the words are going to be root words with modifiers, then yeah. Oh, you're getting ready for a Christmas festival? That's fun. Are you taking your son? I was uh I was telling them I've got to give uh I've got to give you the VIP role too since uh I can only do I can only do 10 but I wanted to make sure that the five people who got me the ability to uh to get them at least got their got their roles. And because I just appreciate you guys hanging out with me so much. You know, it's like uh like giving prizes to your friends. I'm being biased. <laughs> What a sort of thing is a cafe is so Yeah, because if you're starting with ka, then you're like, okay, somebody's talking about coffee, and then it's like, is it gonna be coffee or a cafe? Oh, school deal. Is your um is your child performing? Uh where is key, right? Key Vilojas? Oh that's easy. Key Vilojas, where do you live? Uh, mia patro estas franco, 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 franco. Key is two syllables. Oh, really? Is it? Oh, because I never pronounce. I've always forget to pronounce the e at the end. So is it? Kai, kie. It's just kind of like um, dragged out in another syllable, like kie. Okay, awesome. Thank you. Uh, my father is French or is a Frenchman Frenchman is such a weird word I've never I've I've other than like um, you know talking about like civil wars and stuff you don't really <laughs> I don't ever hear Frenchman no it's actually it really helps me because I have um, I have a, a auditory processing issues because um, of the my my time in in the service, and so audio for me is very hard to do, and it doesn't stick very well. It's almost like um, it just kind of like goes in one ear and goes out the other in, instead of sticking. But if I see it, um, I remember it better. My my visual processing is better, which is why I have all these post its all over. So um, when you're writing out pronunciation in the chat, like. Um, you know, uh, Senes Perulo would always write like uh, Afitzejo and uh, Australejo. Um, 
Ostralejo. And so, like, when I, when I see it in my head, I still see how he had written the word out. Um, because I can't. <laughs> so, reading, reading the chat actually helps. <laughs> well, that sounds like that would be, like, Kij. Kaj? Because pronoun why is pronouncing it a dumb idea? Uh, they live in Europa. Uh, Lojas in Europa. Yeah. The J is the Y, so Kie, yeah. But Kaye or Kie? Because when I say, when I see ki, K-I, I think, uh, like, kick, not like, knee. Uh, so this is, uh, kie loĝas la Italoj? Kie loĝas la Italoj? Kie loĝas la Italoj? But like, see, when you hear him say it, like you, um, you almost don't even hear it, right? So if, if you hadn't pointed it out, I, w I wouldn't have heard. Because, um, actually, let me turn it up a little bit. Um, where do Italians live? Hmm. I mean, I hear it now that I'm uh, that I'm like I'm intentionally listening for it, but in the like in the listening exercises and stuff like that, I, I never would have thought about it. Mi shatas Europa in landoin. Mi shatas Europoin Europoin landoin. I like European countries. Mi venas el malgranda lando. Didn't you say that that's that ki ki uh, I feel like your JE makes a different noise than my JE though. <laughs> my J's definitely go. My def my J's definitely go Spanish because I was born in I was born and raised in Southern California, and so I was exposed and grew up around a lot of a lot of Spanish, and so I I definitely go. Um, my J's go Spanish, and my uh, my H's go like Y's and. <laughs> I would think that uh, with the J, it would be like Kij. Uh, mi venas el malgranda. Mi venas el malgranda lando. Mi venas el malgranda lando. Um, I fuck. I'm coming to small land. Or I'm I come from a small country rather. I gotta get a better computer chair. This thing sucks. Ah! Um, do you live in Japan or are you visiting the country? Um, Chu V Lojas and is that Japan? Japanio? Japan? Japan? Yapano? Yapanio? When you say Kize? Oh, Kije. I see what you Your Z H A Y is like the J, like the Zhuzh noise. Hmm. I think I just, I need to think about K, like, Ki, K-E, uh, being like K-E-E -E instead of K-I-E, I think, if it's more like, like K, Ki-E. Uh, Japanio? 
No, that's it's not a J. It's it's a Y. So it's Yap Yapanio. Uh oh. Uh, or do I need to say are you? Do I have to use chew again or right? Or can I just use visit toss? Okay, good about you, Pano. Yeah, key, eh? Yeah, that's that's exactly what I was thinking too. It's like it's like two like a chune at the end. <laughs> uh, uh, visitas la London. Oh. Oh. So I wrote, do you live in Japan or visiting the land? I didn't even write, like, are you... The Congress is in Europe, la Congreso. Estas en Europa? Uh, Germano? No. Germano, right? German... Germanio? Germanio estas... Priol grande? Pli grande... Or... Brieto? Uh, the journey is long. Uh, la... Voyage. Estas longa? Longa. Mi shatas visiti Japanion. Mi shatas visiti Japanion. So this Z is pronounced almost more like an S. Mi shatas visiti Japanion. Oh, I guess not. Visiti Japanion? Yeah, Japanion sounds like a. Like those little puppies. The, the papillions. Uh, I like visiting. Oh, I like to visit Japan. Japano en Japanio parolas la Japanan. Japan. Japanese. Japano en Japanio parolas la Japanan. Japanese in Japan speak. Japano en Japanio parolas la Japanan. Speak. What is this one? So Japanese in Japan speak Jap speak the Japanese language, right? That's what la. This is the Japanese language, like uh, la France or. Uh, Germanoi shatas manji fragoin. Germans like to eat strawberries. Really, beer was in that sentence? Yeah, yeah. This speaks the Japanese. I no longer speak the, the Japanese. I want to travel to many countries. Truly estas germano? Mm. Is he German? Ili visitas la cafeon, sed trinkas teon. Ooh. Ili visitas la cafeon, sed trinkas teon. Oh. <laughs> I didn't think I was going to get that. I was trying to listen to it only once or twice without, um, without going more. <laughs> Do you live in Japan or are you visiting the country? Okay, here's where I, where I bonkered it earlier. Um, Chuvi Lojas in Japanio. Japanio. Uh, Aochuvi 
or are you visiting the country? So you're talking about K-I-J-E as purely pronunciation. There is no Esperanto word that is K-I-G-E, right? Or K-I-J-E. Okay. I didn't think I didn't think it was a real word, but um, so a lot of this might be that you know the J sound also. I mean, if one of you is from Portugal and one's from Brazil and one's from Poland, then your I J E noise is probably uncommon in all of them. And sounds completely different. So <laughs> chat chat is a fun way to try and like um, try and type it out. Chu Australio estas continento. Chu Australio estas continento. Conti Chu Australio estas continento. Continento. Is Australia a continent? She is not traveling to America. She ne. Voyages. Al Nord America. Nord America. Uh, yen. La mapa de canto. Uh, yen. Voila. Here is the map of Canada. Your, so your diamond badge is, um, it's a VIP designator. So, um, it's, uh, something that Twitch just recently added within the last probably month or so, but you earn them. It's something that you can get when you're not an affiliate or a partner, which although I'm, I'm working on it, um, I don't, I don't stream enough. I haven't str I have I have all of the requirements to meet affiliate except for that I don't stream enough. So, um but because I have such a great chat and you guys talk so much, it actually um unlocked the achievement for me anyway. So I have ten VIP roles that I can hand out. And the VIP roles allow you to um essentially you can do almost anything a moderator can except for like kicking and muting people. So it's like, um, the chat rules don't really like, you're not, you're not, um, liable to the same chat rules as everybody else. Like if you spam more, it's not a big deal and it won't like cut you out. And, uh, you can be in all of the chat rooms. So if, if I eventually make different chat rooms, you know, like a gaming one and an Esperanto one or something, um, you'll be able to go into all of them. Um, without permission. So it's, it's kind of like moderator without, um, channel control, but it also allows people to, you know, you guys have been such an amazing community for helping me learn this, that as other people come in or want to learn Esperanto too, I'd like them to see that, like, you guys are the people who know what you're, <laughs> know what you're talking about a little bit. So it's like, it's not just like you're throwing random words in there. Like you're, you're somebody who has experience with the language and the, Thing. And then, you know, if I'm ever streaming not Esperanto, then you can just hang out with me and watch me play video games, too, and still have all of the status <laughs> and zero responsibility. <laughs> I've thought about if I need to... I haven't even thought about moderators or anything yet because I just... I haven't... I haven't had to worry about it. I'm not a... I'm not important enough for anybody to care. Though today I did a... I tried doing just chatting instead of Duolingo, and I want to see if that affects anything should be fun i like uh I, I like my i like nerding around all the the numbers in the back of the like there's a whole stream thing that says like what how many viewers you have and how many people are chatting and everything that's happened and it's pretty cool uh italians and french are people are europeans uh italians and french are europeans <laughs> Engagement metrics. Yeah, there you go. Uh, a very uh, important indicator. Key performance indicator. Uh, Canadians speak English and French. Canadians can do everything. 
Canadians speak English and French. What? Oh, I forgot law. KPI? <laughs> Actually, uh, I, recent I recently applied for um, a job. I'm not a... My, my stay-at-home mom life is thankfully coming to an end. I'm, I'm so tired. Um, and I, was, uh, I was, had to do key performance metrics and stuff for it. And I'm like, oh, it's been a while since I've had to access that part of my brain. Uh, I, have a, I have a BS in marketing, so that's a, that's a common term in my house. <laughs> you, you live in Canada, and you can do everything. So I think you do agree. <laughs> Yeah, no one no one streams in Duolingo because it doesn't. Um, it's not like it's not going to pop up on the thing. So I thought I would try just chatting to see if that would bring it up, or I thought I could try maybe traveling outdoors because that's at least like an international kind of community. But I'm not like it's not it's not really like I'm not going outside or doing anything. So I think I'm having trouble trying to find what my category is when I'm not gaming, like when I'm doing this. Um, because so far it seems like most people are just finding me through Twitter or Facebook or something like that, which is great for social media engagement, but, um, not so great for Twitch exposure. Uh, tu vi estas usonano au aeropano? Are you? A, oh, are you American or European? I travel to Australia to visit my parents. Uh, me voyages. Uh, poor, right? Yes. Poor Australi Australio. I still struggle with Australio. You can't you can't make your own categories. They are predetermined by Twitch. So like it's when I go to type in what game I'm playing. You know, you type in the first couple letters and then it gives you your options. So Duolingo was an option because there are there have been other people that set that pretense before I did. But um, I can't uh, I can't make my own categories because they want to discourage people from being like my category is Y6 JQ7. And, you know, I it's just useless. And then it just gunks up all the front page categories. So um, they broke just recently broke. um IRL into just chatting, music and performing arts, travel and outdoors, making and crafting, and a couple of other things. Uh, do I, would I say me voyages poor, or would I say me voyages australejo poor visiting my parents? Because I feel like it's it's on here as both, but I can only use it once. Yeah, the um, the Xbox Twitch app it detects what game you're playing because the Xbox knows what game you're playing, so it doesn't let you. There's no anything, and the Kinect camera sucks. Even if you have the follow thing on, it's just not a very it's not very good for this. Oh. Uh, so I would like to say I voy I'm voyaging to Australia to visit my parents. Oh, okay. But now, could I have used Alan Port here interchangeably? Because I feel like... So this is like, this is really like to Australia and poor is more like for visiting, right? I'm going to remember poor is for. <laughs> In order to. Okay, that makes more sense. Uh, a German visits an American in the United States. Oh, my Lanta. Uh, un, unid, 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 nope, United States. Oh, I was wrong anyways. 
<laughs> I tried to rush it. That was totally wrong. Para los um, so this is people. Tra? People throughout the land speak Esperanto. Or sp throughout the country, rather. Multi usonanoi lojas en Germanio. Many Americans live in Germany. Today I visit North America. Uh, how me visit us North America? Uh, Canadians speak English and French. Uh, Canadians speak. This is what got me before the English language and the French language. Because um, I just want to say, like, Prolas Anglan Kai Franzen. Uh, a German visits an American in the United States. Uh, Germano visitas Usonan and Usono. Boom, boom. Okay, so we actually did pretty good today. We got, um, what, did a whole thing of, a whole level of colors, a whole level of food, and nearly a whole level of countries. Um, we're getting to about noon now so and I, I hear that the, the kid's not super happy so I've, I'm not going to drag it out too far um, but and I don't think we have anybody online to raid today which is a very sad sad day all these people I watch and, and nobody is playing right now which is insane um, usually you've got like Reg Ran is on or um, even a lot of I've I watched some like non-profits that um, are almost always on um, but not today so I guess I guess today we're just we're just ending like normal, but I do want to say thank you, um, everybody. And I know that uh, you primarily find me through things like Twitter. So thank you for following my Twitter and uh, for for paying attention when I go live and for keeping me company and uh, hanging out with me all the time. I'm really glad that I was able to earn these VIP badges because I'd been thinking about them for a while, and I wanted a way to to say thank you to you guys um, for being part of the OG crew. And being there from the beginning, anyways. So uh, I thought I'd hand a couple of hand a couple of those out on this stream. So I'm glad the three of you showed up. Um, and then I'm hoping that maybe uh, a couple of, a couple of the people who are usually here that didn't didn't come today will come by too. And then uh, maybe eventually I'll even have new people, and it just won't be you guys talking to each other. <laughs> I just got to find out what category. I gotta find out what uh what Twitch wants me to to broadcast under. What do, what do the people want? <laughs> uh, don't thank me. Thank you. No, thank you. Uh, I was gonna try and say something in Esperanto, but then I lost all the words. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, I, I end up lot, learning a lot too, and I've like I've done this course before, at least at least this far, and like there's zero, like none of that stuck around the way that this is gonna stick around because now we have like, and now we have actual, um, unscripted and spontaneous chat, which is harder to do in a language than being able to sit down and like respond to a reddit post where you can use your translators and you can sit and you can think because uh when when chat's going you gotta you, you, you gotta pay attention <laughs> um but thank you again guys um i'll see you again next sunday um again from from 10 a.m to noon even though um christmas is coming up i don't i don't think it's gonna be it be a big deal i should still be able to stream on the 22nd and the 29th. I don't have plans. I don't have a life. I'm a stay at home mom. <laughs> It'll be okay. <laughs> um, but I think, uh, I think I'm going to also do my, I think I might do my, my push for affiliate this month. So you might see me, um, if you follow me on Twitch or if you have, uh, if you have notifications on Twitch or if you follow me on Twitter or Facebook or Instagram or any of that, um, you'll 
probably see me streaming some video games over the next month or so. Um, and you're more than welcome to, to come in and hang out with me. You can speak English or you can speak Esperanto. It's, it's always open. Um, but I'm going to try and, uh, I'm going to try and knock that out. I've got a, I need to stream eight days in 30 days. And since I only do Sundays, I only do four. So I've got to pick up some other, pick up some extra shifts, so to speak. <laughs> um, but then I can start, you know, having better quality stream stuff. So that'll be nice. Uh, yeah. So be good. All of you. And I'll see you soon. And uh, this will be up on YouTube. So if you wanna, if you wanna see yourself on YouTube, just just look for me, and you can uh, you can see if anybody's responding to you. Because sometimes people do go through the the Twitch videos and they read them and stuff too. And then I get notifications about like messages. So it's pretty cool. But uh, Denkon multi uh, was it multi Denkon? Denkon multi. I guess it doesn't really matter. But Denkon and Gisla Ray video. Have a good day.